Hello guys, what I'm going to show you today is how you can make a button change color inside of Figma. Now the first step is actually to create this button as I showed you in previous tutorials. So just create a rectangle anywhere here. And now you can create some text as I'm going to do. Let's just type in click. And now you want to position your text in the middle of the rectangle. And now you want to select both the text and the rectangle. And you can just right click in here in this layers panel and select create component. Okay, and now we have our uh, rectangle and text joined together. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to create some kind of variant here. Okay, so let's select this component that we just created. Let's go to design. Let's go to this three dots menu and let's click on add variant. Now, this is just created like a copy of this rectangle. Okay, and what we would like to do is we would like to give this a different color, the one in the bottom, so that it changes color while we're hovering into this rectangle. Okay, that's what we're going to do basically. So you want to click on this second rectangle on the one below and you want to change, for example, the color. Okay, you want to change this gray color to something else, which in my case is going to be, I don't know, this red button here, for example. Now, okay, after you're ready, after you have selected your color, you need to select the upper rectangle, which is this one here, and you need to go to prototype. Okay, let's actually, yeah, let's double click on the upper rectangle and you want to click on interactions and you want to go to trigger and usually you want to keep this in while hovering, but you can also do on click. It's actually going to work the same way. Uh, and now you want to press into action and you want to go to change to and now you want to select, you know, the barring that you just created, which in my case was named barring two. Okay, which is this red rectangle. And now in animation, you can keep this instant, dissolve, or smart animate. This is just like details. Okay. Now, after you're ready, you can choose, you can close this, this panel. And now what's most important, and a lot of people actually confuse, is that this is just the component that we just created. Okay. But this is not what's going to actually be in our page. We need to move it out of the page. This is going to be created now. Okay. Let's actually check the name. Okay. This is called component one. So now let's pull it out of the page. <clears throat> and now you want to go to your to your page in here. And you want to go to this assets tab. And you want to uh, search for the name of the component that we just created, which is called component one, right, which is here. And now you're going to be able to drag it and look how it's going to look, it's going to be completely different, right? It's not it's not actually going to look like two rectangles, like it was here. Okay, but it's going to look like a single rectangle. If you try to drag this here directly into the page, it's not going to work. Okay, so you have to do this this way. All right. Now, once you're ready with, uh, once you're happy and once you're ready with the positioning, you can just, you know, test it. And how are we going to test it? We're going to go to our design tab or to our prototype tab. It doesn't matter. And you're just going to click on this present menu. And as you can see, we have this button here. And if we hover it, look, look what's going to happen. It's going to change to a red color. And you can see that the animation is kind of smooth because of the preset that we selected. Okay. We selected this animation. It's actually from here. Give a sec. Okay. We select this smart animate preset. Okay, and that's how it's going to reflect it. That's how it's going to be re reflect back here. You know, it gradually changes colors. It's not instant. All right, that's it. Thank you very much.